Maryland had four three pointers at LSU and I had seventeen. What, what was the difference there? Um, I think um, we were just being aggressive. Uh, they were giving us that shot, and we weren't really shying away from it. Um, we shot at 35, so like clearly that was the open shot. But uh, we've been harping on confidence, and I think our team had confidence tonight. Just keep shooting. And how about for you personally? You lost by throwing three points against LSU, 21 uh, points and, and seven threes tonight. Was it a different mentality for you today, or just the shots were there and they weren't there last week? Or? Um, I think I was definitely hunting them a little bit more um, against LSU. I was kind of just waiting for it to come to me, but this game I was kind of looking for it. Um, so that was a little bit different, but yeah, uh, for us to be good, I think I have to keep shooting. I can't stop even if I'm not having a good shooting game. On the left, Will. Georgia, you kind of just noticed it, but it's your second career game with uh, two blocks. Um, first one was a couple years ago against UNC. Just how did it feel to get those a couple of rejections? I actually felt the best I've had in my life. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, I think a couple of them was uh, me messing up on defense and having to hustle back and make up for my mistakes or, you know, can look at it both ways, but feels good to be tied with Liz for this game only. <laughs> yeah, and then, Georgia, you talked about, you know, how teams are, they're going to guard you as a shooter first. Um, tonight, another high assist game with 14. What's it been like, the process of just becoming more of a playmaker on certain nights where the team kind of needs it? Um, yeah, you said uh, uh, they play me as a shooter, and obviously I've kind of been missing a bit, but I still have the aggressive mentality, um, and I think tonight – it's not really a mindset I go into, like I'm a, I'm a pass every single time. It's just when the opportunity presents itself. So I think I've matured a lot in that um, department and, you know, just have girls around me that can hit it all the time. We'll go back to the right with David. Um, I think we're really good when we move the ball. I think everybody on our team can be a threat. Um, so. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that to be good. And just That's a game where we're trying to figure out our chemistry, and I think we did a little bit of that tonight. George, you guys forced 19 turnovers, season high. I'm sure it was a little bit of what they were doing. Yeah. Did you like how you guys defended? Them? Yeah, I think, as you said, it's a little bit more of what they do because the way we play defense is a little more pack line and protect the paint. Um, but, you know, I think we were better this game in once we got the ball going out in transition. I think that's where a lot of our threes and assists came mm -hmm. from. Um, would I have liked to see that more maybe in previous games and games going forward. I don't think we've been aggressive in transition. Mm -hmm. um, but it goes to show, like, defense translates into offense, and we need to capitalize on that. Taylor Harris had 18. Mm -hmm. She made four threes for her to kind of come out and, and have that big performance. I'm sure you're not surprised by mm -hmm. practice, but how excited are you for her? We are because um, – we need our freshmen, so just to see her step up and hit those big shots, um, it's good for her confidence. We have confidence in her, so for her to see the ball go through, I'm happy for her. Um, yeah, I hope she soaks it in. On the left, we'll go Jack. Uh, Kayla, you mentioned sort of attacking uh, from the three-point line. Was that kind of, I guess, the team's mentality sort of coming off of LSU? Um, yeah, and as Georgia said, we were a little bit more aggressive in transition tonight. Um, I don't think we've been getting out. Georgia's fast, so us as guards in the four has got to – be out there with her, um, so I think we that was a focus of us tonight. And like she said, a lot of the shots did come from transition. And through the first eight games, what have you guys sort of learned? What's been like the biggest takeaway? Um, I think we're just figuring out each other still. Like we have three returners, nine new people. Um, we're trying to figure out lineups, who plays well together, and figuring out each other, what everyone likes. Um, and that takes time, so I think that's what we're doing right now. And I like to see where it's going. Go back to Mark. Uh, Caleb, uh, Kenny had been pretty blunt after the LSU game saying how he wanted to see other people besides uh, Georgia Liz step up. Uh, the fact that you got six players in double figures today, you know, is that encouraging to you? Yeah, um, Georgia and Liz can't do it all. Of course, they're, they're all American players. They're great players, but um, we got to help them out. And I think we have people capable of doing that. We just, like I said, have to have the confidence in ourselves. I know Georgia has the most confidence in me. I know Liz has the most confidence in me. Um, she'll get us the ball, so we just got to hit those shots. Uh, obviously, you know, you weren't playing LSU tonight, you were playing Long Island. Was that the difference, the opponent, or was it a different mentality where you guys kind of, you know, did, did, has Dad's coach been talking to you in, in recent days about wanting other people to step up and that was on everybody's mind today? I mean, of course the opponent has something to do with LSU and LIU are um, two different teams. Um, 
but we did have a different mentality and it's more about focusing on ourselves than rather the opponent. We can't control who we're playing, um, but we can control what we do. So from this point on, we're just focusing on ourselves no matter who we're playing. Julia, what was practice like last couple of nights? <coughs> get a little bit of a breather. You got exams, obviously. Mm -hmm. Nice to get a little bit of your legs back under you. And just coming off that, what was the refocusing like? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, we really worked on a lot of pushing in transition and getting our offense down and being aggressive on defense. It was fun. Yeah. Um, when, Kaylee, when you see shots go down like this, like time and time again, you guys are hitting from the outside, how much of a confidence boost is that? I know you talked about how big it is to have confidence. How, mm -hmm. much, is, how much does that help when you see it going down? It does. It feels nice, um, especially being a shooter, seeing the ball go through. Um, but. Coach Brooks is harping on, like, doesn't matter if we miss the last 10 shots, we have to act like we know every shot is going in. Um, so, like, going forward, even though it was nice to have these shots, I know if I have games where I have a little bit of rut, that every single shot, like, my mentality is that it's going in. Back left. Kayla, um, coming off of the LSU loss, as a returning player, did you feel that there was more pressure on you tonight to perform uh, following Kenny Brooks's comments after the LSU game? Um, I think... Not necessarily after the loss, it's just being a returner. Um, I know that we have to bring them along, um, me, Georgia, Liz. Uh, we have to play not perfect. We can't, no one's perfect, but we just kind of have to be second coaches on the floor, and I think we're getting better at that. Um, we're picking up new roles just like they are, so I think as the season goes on, I think we're getting better at that. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank so you.